Welcome to another video on C programming. The fork system call is used to create child processes. This question, which was asked in the recently concluded gate examination, wants us to find the number of child processes that will be created on execution of the given code. Now, what we must keep in mind is number of child processes, number of child processes that can be spawned depends on the number of times this fork system call is executed. If fork is called n times, if fork is called n times, then the number of child processes created is given by 2 to the power of n minus 1. In this for loop, as you can see, this for loop, this will execute, how many times? This will execute 10 times from 0 to 9. So in this for loop, the fork system call, this fork system call is executed for even values of i. As you can see this condition, i mod 2 equal to 0, this is a condition for even numbers. So whenever i takes on an even value, then only on dividing it by 2, we get a remainder of 0. The mod is the remainder operator here. The mod is the remainder operator. So on dividing the value of i by 2, if we get a remainder of 0, it means that i is an even number. And if this condition is satisfied, then the fork system call is executed. And how many even numbers do we have from 0 to 9? We have how many even numbers? We have exactly 5 even numbers. What are those even numbers? Those even numbers are 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8. So for each of these even numbers, the fork system call here will be executed. This loop will run 10 times as we know and fork is invoked 5 times leading to the creation of 2 to the power of 5 minus 1 child processes. So the final answer that we get here is 31. This was a numerical answer type question. So the answer here would be 31. So I hope this helps. Thank you.